Hi guys, this is Dan with Next Level welcoming you back to the Next Level YouTube channel. We got snow in the mountains, we're here at the shop, it's sled building time. I'm gonna take you guys on a tour through the Next Level shop. Let's go. So thank you to Edge Custom Design, your comment off of Instagram about wanting to see what the Next Level Shop is all about. Today, I'm gonna to take you guys on a tour of the inside of the Next Level Shop. So I get more questions about this floor in the Next Level Shop than I think I do about any of the sleds we build. You guys, this is a Race Deck product. This is the HD True Lock. It is really difficult to find a flooring solution, especially when you're hauling sleds in and out all throughout the winter season. This stuff has held up unbelievably well. You can tell, and there's lots of different types of this stuff, but these 12 inch by 12 inch tiles, they're easy to snap together. You can see the snap inside, they just click together, it takes a couple of hours, and boom, you've got this beautiful floor. What's cool, guys, is the, the water, the snow, as it's melting off your sleds through the night, it will just drain below that. If you've got a floor drain in your shop, uh, all you're looking at is this, man. It stays really clean. This is two years of carbides going in and out of this shop. So the Race Deck product is just absolutely awesome. So something that's unique about the Next Level shop is not only do we build sleds and we house the sleds in here during the winter, we do a lot of maintenance. We're also, this is also a room where a lot of our clientele will meet for sort of the intro, the morning set of Next Level Riding Clinic. So having some storage, having a place where they can hang their gear, their backpacks, their helmet. And then uh, this was a cool idea that I got from Trails West Trailer. Uh, and I've got these kind of all over the shop, but just an area for people to sit down while they're listening to the PowerPoint, they're getting their gear on, that sort of thing. So makes for some handy storage and uh, a great place to sit. And, uh, sit. and then when we're, we're ready to bring sleds in, we can. All right, so the cabinets, a lot like uh, a lot of the things that I'm finding, guys, the way I found the floor, the way I found the cabinets was just going online, looking for cabinets, kind of matched, matched my whole setup here. Ultimate is the cabinet make, and we found these online years ago, and they've been durable. Uh, but really, the importance here in terms of your own shop is just uh, small space, well organized. And so over the years, you know, we've got these trays with miscellaneous nuts and bolts. I'm missing a suspension bolt, a bumper bolt. Chances are we have it and we kind of know which area it's in. So we can move along here. You know, I know where all my belts are gonna be. Um, I need batteries for transceivers, uh, that sort of thing. Cleaning supplies here. Um, the value and the, the efficiency of a shop, especially in a smaller shop, is just knowing where everything is and having really clear, uh, you know, just a clear idea of where everything is. All our clutch parts here, are small like retainer clips, things like that. And then directly underneath this, a lot of Polaris related stuff, uh, hand grips, uh, your heated hand grip warmers, your throttle, uh, throttle, pro throttle replacement, things like that. So having that organization is the key when we're trying to build quite a few sleds coming out of the shop here. So in the back corner of my shop, we've got uh, a board here. Typically throughout the season, this is gonna have uh, a Western power order, things, parts, stuff that we need. It could have shock pressures on it, uh, a number of different things, but it's important for us to have a board there just to, we're not always in the shop at the same time. So the, the dryer race board is pretty helpful. The workbench guys is just for all things, working on clutching, uh, suspension. You put a skid frame up here or something like that. We've got a, an SLP uh, clutch press here. One of the guys is doing some work on it. Uh, another key item is to have a vise. There's just lots of things that you need that vise for. Um, but it's, it's good, we got a great space, it's up high, you're not having to bend over. A lot of these parts, guys, I've got the SOP catalog right here, and you can see, you can buy this stuff directly through SOP, or obviously go through Western Power to get some of these specific tools. So the importance of having uh, the right tools when you're working on these machines, and you guys know, uh, we work on a lot of Polaris's here. Because it's a shop and we end up with a lot of other manufacturers of, of sleds in here, it is pretty important to have a good set of tools. And then the organization of that is really, really important. And that's kind of the, the, the key. And I think the reason why we're making this video is just, you know, sort of showcasing the organi organization of where a lot of this stuff goes. Obviously, between my guys and I, we kind of know where everything is and building your shop around that and the people that you're gonna have either in the shop working with you or maybe it's just yourself, but just the idea 
behind all that organization is being able to just grab those tools that you need necessary for whatever it is that you're working on and you kind of know exactly where to go to do it and that'll make mechanicing on things a lot more simplified and a lot faster. So in the shop today, we've got a customer build. This is a 2020 Axis 155 that we're gonna put some aftermarket parts on. And again, the efficiency of the shop, knowing where all the tools are, is gonna really help us get this build put together. We're doing black next level front and rear bumpers. We're doing essentially a stage one uh, SLP comp can with a cooker. We're also doing some venting. So we've got various starting line vents, the primary vent, a vent that I call the chimney vent, as well as the high flows that'll go up into the airbox. We're also doing an SLP torque arm. And sort of first and foremost, we're putting a tether on this machine. We are also doing a Kurtz gear down kit, as well as Fox shocks. The tools necessary to put venting in, the lightweight can, the gear down kit, all of those things, guys, it's important to have a table and lay out all of your tools you guys, I love this, right? We have a pie tin for making cupcakes. Great spot to be able to segregate all the nuts and bolts so that you don't lose anything. You can put rivets here, um, all those types of things. Um, as nuts come off the sled, it's important to just put those in their spot. Uh, some specific tools that are gonna make it easier, having a compressor in your shop, having air tools to have an air riveter, having an air saw for being able to cut vents in the side panel or in the air box having some type of a grinder tool when you're working on turbo stuff and you're trying to just refine the holes that you're drilling and clean them up a little bit, having a grinder like that. Various sockets, uh, open end wrenches, pliers, uh, snips for cutting zip ties, things like that. And then having an extractor. So an extractor, whether you're pulling antifreeze out, if you are doing a turbo system, uh, something like that, having one of those is a great way to just uh, recycle that material so you can pull that coolant out and then just put it back in there. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. You guys in the description below the video, I'm gonna leave a list of some of the specific tools or items that I think are really necessary to working on snowmobiles. So make sure to check that out. We appreciate your questions, your comments. Comment on this video. Let me know what you have in your shop. Anyway guys, subscribe today and uh, we'll see you next time on the channel. <laughs>